Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. It's Missy and Akeem. And that's all you were saying? Yes, I literally just said, I'd be like, it's Missy and Akeem. And you'd be like, welcome back. Welcome I thought you were just talking about the... Nah. Alright, and... Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. It's Missy and Akeem. Alright, so in today's video, we did... <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Missy and Akeem. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to completely transform our butler's pantry area, which uh, since we moved, it's pretty much been a drop zone, a collection of pretty much anything, anything you could think of from when we come in, we drop our keys there, mail we throw it there, kids books, anything. So this space hasn't been functional for us at all since we moved in, but that's about to change. So if you're new here, we do vlogs, family content. Uh, DIYs, you do a lot of shopping, I guess we do a lot of shopping, yeah. all that good stuff, so consider subscribing if this is your first time here, um, but yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, we're going to completely transform this area, we got up this morning, uh, we went on a little mini haul, which we're going to go through right now, and kind of show you guys everything, we went to, why are you looking at me like that? Because you keep saying we're going to transform the area, but you never said to what? I didn't? No. Okay. <laughs> we're going to... We're going to transform this to a, our coffee bar slash wine area temporarily. And mm -hmm. we'll explain more of that in a minute. So to do that, we, um, Amazon? Yeah, we ordered some things off of Amazon. We went to Target, Lowe's. I don't think we really got anything for Lowe's for here. No, that was so for other Target. projects of the house. And then we went to World Market. So um, to kind of show you guys some of the stuff that we picked out, I guess I'll unbag you describe. Yeah, that's fine. That works? Okay. So, in no particular order, I guess you'll have to tell them where we, let me put this down. That's what I said, put it in the kitchen. No, but I'm going to need it. So, first things first, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, I actually got this off of Amazon, and it is a wine rack. Um, right now, we have most of our bottles underneath the cabinet, and uh, because of the size of the bottles, and because of how the cabinet is made, like, we really have no space. Like, we're, it's wasted space in there. But um, it's full of our, our like our liquor bottles, wine bottles, and different things like that. So I got this off of Amazon, and it is a wine rack. And it actually, I had to put it together. So um, it wasn't hard, but... I mean, it, I could have. You said it like I was incapable. I was doing something. It was easy. No one said anything about you. I'm just saying. You, you know, I'm just saying. Nobody said anything about you. I was doing you. something. A king. That's the only reason. Anyway, so I got this off of Amazon. So I want to get some of the cool stuff. I want to show all the boring stuff. Real quick. Here you go. So these are just um, syrups, like the coffee syrups that you buy, and we have like a, a few of those, but these pumps. are just the pumps that you can put. <laughs> it's not like I was stumbling, but anyway, so these go inside the um, the coffee syrups. I can do some. So my wife, she's into tea, right? So this is for, is it for loose leaf? Yes. This is, this is loose tea. I didn't read that. Oh, man. So this is a loose, and it's kind of reflected, there we go, a loose leaf tea infuser. Usable bamboo straws from Amazon. I hate it. Oh, you said bamboo, not paper. Never mind. Okay. I take that back, what I was about to say. Go ahead. No, I'm, just go. No, no, go ahead, just go. go. go ahead, go I got it. Go ahead. I'll do the pillow. No, talk to, I want you to tell people all about me. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Tell them what I did. Tell them what so, I did. Uh, Akeem picked this out at Target. Um, it's a hearth in hand with magnolia tray for $30. And he wants to put this on the island. So right now we're debating on how to style it. So we may actually uh, style it on the island my way and then put it on the island his way and see what you guys think. But it's actually a really super cute tray and hopefully it'll be functional, um, especially in the way that I want to style it. All right, so um, we actually just picked up some pillows for the couch. A couple of fall pillows. So this is just a pumpkin pillow from Target. I don't know if you can see it, but just I wanted something with a little bit texture, um, just a cream color. And this is completely contradictory to my little rant on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that um, I was going in on everybody that felt like we had to take all the colors out of any kind of fall decoration. So I must have missed that rant. But just because you get these doesn't mean that... You won't have orange anywhere else, but we do have some colors. There's this trend going around, around that, that all fall decor is supposed to be neutral. And I get it, it looks good, but I mean... They say it's supposed to, they said it's their preference. Yeah, everything doesn't have to be neutral. Now, we, I was teasing, I was saying, in a minute, Christmas is going to be neutral. There's going to be no more red, there's going to be no more green, it's going to be white and brown and tan Christmas. Watch. 
Um, I got a bunch of these different size jars um, with these wood. Yeah, I'm not going to pull them all up. They get yeah, with idea. these wood lids, and I got these off of Amazon also. So we got this off of Amazon. It's actually a wine glass rack, but we're not going to use it. But I did want to show you guys. We're not? I don't think so. Right. We'll see. Oh, because that's the way it's mounted? Yeah, I, don't, I didn't know. We'll see. We'll see. So just a wine glass rack, you know, the ones that go underneath. Uh, we wouldn't put it underneath there because we have the under cabinet lighting and I don't know if I want to necessarily drill it into the uh, shelf. So we kind of alluded to this earlier when I was will explain more, but right now this is going to house our, like I said, coffee, wine, liquor, but eventually there's this um, bar cabinet Bar cabinet at um, Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel. C CB2 one of the Crate and Barrel CB2 one of them that it's we want to beer. put in the dining room that will house all the wine and liquor and then this will primarily be coffee. So seriously we just bought a bunch of these. These are is it pronounced Tarani? I don't know. That's why I was gonna let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Tarani. T O R A N I. I mean you've seen these before. The Tarani serves we have uh what's this is vanilla. Vanilla. We have the caramel. Then we have hazelnut, peppermint for your peppermint mochas, and if you could think of any other drink that you can make with peppermint, let me know, because the only one I can think of is like the peppermint mocha. So comment below if you know of any other good peppermint drinks. Some other things that we got is actually going to be this gourmet flavoring, and this is violet, lavender, rose, hibiscus, and elderflower. Uh, is that good one here? Can you see it? I'll put it out. If you can't see it, I'll most likely insert a picture. But these are for drinks. So I just want to be able to like just use a little bit in my mixed drinks and stuff like that. And just a tea box organizer for tea packets. So we picked up a couple things to style the uh, tray that we, I recently showed you. And so we got this from Target. I picked it out. I'm trying to get my, my interior design on with my wife. Because she'll, she'll tell everybody she did it. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a little credit for some stuff. So I, are you? Don't do that. I'm trying. To, I know, I'm trying to get a little credit, a little, just a little bit. But um, the candle. Yeah, but this candle, kind of, you. I, I like. I couldn't smell it in the store, but I can smell it now, and it's uh. Tell the people. Apple cider donut. Let them smell it. But now it <laughs> smells really. Now it smells really good though. Man. So the vision I had on the bar, right? I mean, on the island, that tray we showed you in the beginning. So boom, tray, candle, uh, plant. And then we, she has some other stuff laying around the house. Put that on the counter because we want the island to be, for the most part, clean with nothing on it except that. So you'll, you'll see, or if you didn't, you may have seen it already if I popped it up on the screen, but you know what I mean. So also when we were at World Market, we came across this mixology set from uh, Libby. If you're familiar with them, they make a lot of glasses and glassware. But uh, we're going to start to do a lot more uh, drinks on our channel, especially um, on our Instagrams as well. Um, last year, specifically during the pandemic, when, every, when we were all locked in the house um, here in Texas, Specs, which is like, you know, a huge liquor store, they were open. So... We started to learn how to make, you know, craft cocktails at home and really started to focus in on, you know, how to make a perfectly balanced drink. You know, back in the day, college, it was like, just pour up as much <laughs> liquor as you can handle, throw in the mixer, orange juice, cranberry, and go for nasty. it. So, you know, now we're, you know, starting to make some adult type beverages at home. You guys see me, you know, smoke a couple cocktails, whiskey, um, and just going to add to that. So we're going to be doing a lot more drinks. Um, a lot more cooking demos and stuff on the channel and this is just going to help add to that so that's for the most part everything that we have as of right now that we're going to use to style this area and we're going to take you through the cabinets right now to kind of show you where it's at so you can get a so you can get a better idea of what the before and after looks like all right so um we actually cleaned out these cabinets so we had just like a bunch of junk in here for like storage so we're going to put like our coffee mugs and different things over here. And this cabinet are some of my glasses. Like I'm a sucker for like cute wine glasses, drink glasses and different things like that. 
So these are just some of them that I bought that are still packaged up that we're going to try to figure out how to make this work. I'm probably going to move the decanters to a different closet or a different cabinet and just have like all drinkware in here. She still never tried. She still never did this one, y'all. I'm waiting on that day. I just got it. My niece bought me that. How long ago did you get it? My birthday. So Mariana bought me 10 the months ago. One, I think Mariah bought me the champagne one. So 10 months ago, but you said you just got it. Anyway, that's how you be doing when you buy clothes like this. I just got this and the whole time you Never mind. I digress, yeah. but go ahead. So then we got this drawer again, most likely tea, cocoa and different things like that. And then we have the space over here. So just this small section is going to, in my opinion, as of right now, it's going to be like the coffee tea area. That's, um, that's... We're going to clean out this drawer and probably keep like our, our bar utensils in here and different things like that. So it's like easy to grab. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, I guess it's a mess right now. Like. Right, like I don't know if some stuff have our address on it. So. Air fryer stuff. Those are just like all of the because I had cleaned out previously, but those are all the what like the pamphlets or manuals. And then under here, this is what I was saying as far as the space. Yeah, this is where the party at. <laughs> Try to get some light down here. Hold on. All right, so we have the double shelving, but like right behind this last row of bottles, it's just like it's it's a bunch of space under there, except for like the little small bottles we can get back there. So hopefully this rack will at least allow me to push some of these back and just open up the space a little bit. Um, but yeah, like we don't have like a huge variety, but the plan is to um, create a space so we can start adding to it. So without further ado, stay tuned and let's see how we style it. All right, so clearly today is the next day. Um, we decided to um, kind of work on the layout first, kind of put everything in the space, see how we want to lay out what functions best for us. Um, and then instead of putting it all together on camera, cause that would just take too long. So through the magic of editing, what we're going to do is we're going to reveal, um, our final layout, layout if you will. Yeah. And then, um, and then we'll kind of go through with like yeah. details of, you know, our glasses and why we chose the layout. Um, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, different things and where they came from. So, all right. Yeah. So through the magic of editing, without further ado. about how we set up the um, coffee bar area why we chose certain things that we have on display what we have in our cabinets upper and lower and then just kind of like our future plans of different projects that we want to do in this area just to kind of expand it out a little bit it's an extension of the kitchen so we want to make sure it looks just as aesthetically pleasing as the kitchen at the same time a functional area well, um, so. if you've seen any of our previous videos our Keurig was actually around the corner in like this little awkward space area and while it worked it didn't work just because that's where most of our light switches are so it's just kind of hard to get to it so we went ahead and moved that in here and it just really opens up the space as far as being able to pull out our mixers and stuff and as so, far as me i'm sorry i didn't mean to cut you no, off you right? but um the keurig i want to replace well i'll keep it but I'm, I'm really looking forward to adding an espresso machine because um i'm ashamed of how much money i spend on starbucks on a monthly basis so I want to be able to bring better coffee at home and I, I don't consider myself like a coffee snob, but um, K-Cups, they don't really taste that good. So um, I do. I do. So all in all, I want to add something else. So don't be surprised if you see this a little bit different in the future. So we actually got these from Home Goods. Um, we showed these in our uh, home update video where I showed you guys the couch and I just like this I want to pull these out because um, we don't grab coffee cups often um, we usually grab like our Starbucks drink cups or our Starbucks coffee cups and I do like that they have their own um, uh, like a tower holder yeah like a tower holder like a, a stack so you can stack them up so I do like that um, I brought in the bamboo straws and I put them right here these are reusable straws Unfortunately, they're a little bit bigger than I thought they would be, so I can't put the top on here, but I do want to add more straws. I'm okay with not having a top, just easy to grab and go. 
we did bring some drink stirs in and um so that obviously the top was able to fit on there. We brought out our three favorite most used syrups. I saw someone with their own labels or just some aesthetically pleasing labels. So uh, we didn't, we liked them, but we wanted to do something different. So we're actually going to customize some labels and have them across here. Uh, so super cute. So I will update you guys with that. Um, I got a couple of these from Target a while back. These are like the drink bar mats. Um, so we decided to bring this one out and we decided to use this as a drip bar area. So like, you know, just so it doesn't mess up the counter. And we also needed something to kind of just put into place up here so it just doesn't look too open, but I like it. So it just says, welcome to my bar. Um, I do have my loose leaf uh, tea diffuser. Uh, left that out here just so it's easy to grab for the sugar cubes. Um, I am in love with sugar cubes. I just think they're super cute. Uh, and it just kind of keeps it separate from having to grab the big sugar bowl out of the pantry. And I, I rarely use sugar in coffee, but I, what I do use, I like it because you get to keep, it's consistent. Mm -hmm. So if you make your coffee a certain way and you know that. one cube is a little too much or two cubes is perfect, unless you're using packets, cubes are going to be, you know, your best option. Yeah, it keeps it consistent sense. for you. We have like a little pastry jar, but we just put a... a uh, ceramic pumpkin in there just for um the fall coming up so in here again this is actually a pumpkin soup bowl and these are the creamers these are just different flavor creamers so we have cinnamon vanilla cream hazelnut snickers just some good things i don't really use creamers akeem does and when my mom is in town she does but they run through them just good to have going into the upper cabinets i will show you guys this cabinet so because it's a smaller cabinet, we just went ahead and kept our coffee mugs in here. So up there we have the big oversized coffee mugs and those actually come with sleeves. Uh, I feel like those are more winter. Um, so we just kept those up there. We, these are just like some of the Irish cappuccino um, glasses that we showed you yesterday uh, for the haul. So you'll see those. These came with one of our... Um, sets uh this is food network so this came with a uh, set of dishes that my mother-in-law got us from kohl's and then some more stackable coffee cups and then these i got I the dollar store i got these from actually from the dollar store so this actually needs to be clean but i got these from the dollar because it's all spot it's about me brought to break some stuff <laughs> i got these from the dollar tree i i can break my stuff you can't so going into the next uh cabinet so this is kind of like for our bar drinkware. I got this. So you got the old fashions, you know, normal whiskey. You know, if you want to feel fancy whiskey glasses here. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess you, I, I don't really do the cognac like that, but either one of those will work. A uh, couple beer mugs, shot glasses. And then this is the, um, the mixologist, but yeah, the mixologist kit that we show. Hmm? They like, did you tell them what was all in there? No. So it really quick, it comes with, here, I'll show you real quick. All right, so it just comes with a a bar spoon. Um, let's see, a muddler, muddling you know your fruits and citruses inside your glass. Your strainer. Oh, don't break. Right. Then it comes with this. Um, so if you're making cocktails, you either build it in the glass like this, or you build it in the glass that you're going to serve it with. And then, so usually you ice, build it in here, in the shake pop open and then strain into your beverage glass. Then it also came with this um, this shaker that has its own built-in strainer. So this is when you're building the, building the drink all in one container. So will one be for like one individual drink or would, and then that for multiple or, you know, I don't know. Um, e either or. So like if you, it's certain drinks that you build in the glass that you're gonna serve it in. like. Most old fashions you build it in the glass, but let's say um, is the shaker only for ice or would you put ice in that one? Because I'm just trying to figure out like how it would transfer. No, so how you would well, how it would transfer? Like if you put ice in the with the glass in the. So okay, let me run through. So I make whatever drink you want in here, right? Mm -hmm. So I got ice. This is when you're serving a drink where the glass it won't be the finishing glass won't have ice in it. Back up a little bit. I'm getting like a little. No, 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 no. Stay here. But like just back up because I'm getting a glare from the uh, Here, sun. Okay. I'm getting, I'm still getting a glare from the sun. Oh. All right, right there. So imagine I'm making, so you'll, you'll do, and I'm not a, uh, 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 
a mixologist. I didn't go to bartender school. I just, I've watched them a lot. I put it that way. Um, if you're making the drink in here, mm -hmm. and then you're going to strain it or put it into a glass to serve it in, you will usually ice in here, all the materials, mix, right? Then you put your strainer on top oh, of here. I forgot all about that. Okay. And then you will strain into... Just one of the glasses. Yeah, one of your glasses. You will strain into here, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say I am building like an old-fashioned where I'm going to put sugar cube bitters and then i am going to put ice in here two ounces of whiskey i can shake it to chill it mm -hmm. and it's going to be just a little chill because i don't want too much water to dilute it ice in here and then i'll strain here to keep a lot of the ice and then the other particles that come off when you shake it and some of the foam to more clarify it so it just depends on what type of drink you're making gotcha. so again more drinks coming soon so you'll see exactly what i'm talking about um, I don't know. Maybe we'll put one at the end of this video. I'm not sure yet, but I can always go for a drink. Don't tease me with a good time. So, yeah, this mixology cup was um, set was pretty cool. Um, always good to have too. Yeah, like the shot glasses. It just didn't come with that mixology kit, but we have a, a, a jigger which allows you to properly measure. So this side is one ounce, and this side is a half ounce. Um, I need to give me one with two ounces because I get tired of pouring this twice, but yeah. It also came with a shot glass too. Why? Not exactly sure, but... It's good to have. Maybe this is two ounces. It didn't say, but maybe this is a two ounce pour. Um, these are for red wine. These are for white wine. Mm. So then we have just uh, two different sets of champagne flutes. So we have these, and I got these from Home Goods. Oh, and I skipped these. So we also have the white wine goblets. I can't reach them yet. So both of these are champagne flutes, but these are actually my favorite just because I like how structured they are. They just remind me of the other ones that we have. But, um, so just to kind of compare compare them aside. So we only have two of these. Now these I did get two sets, so I do have eight of these. Get up to the very, very top. So off to the left, those are, I don't know if those are the Martini or Cosmopolitan. Either way, those are specialty drink glasses, the set of four. The ones in the middle, those are uh, Cosmopolitan glasses. The next ones, um, I got those off of Amazon. I forget the price, but I'll link them below. And then the other ones, the four ones, I got those from Home Goods. And those are, the, I don't know if it's Rachel Zoe or Rachel Zoe, but I'll also see if I can find those and link those below as well. All right, so moving on to the drawers. I, they're not exactly where I want them to be because of some things that we, after going through and looking at some things I want to add to it, but we kind of just put some things in here for now. So I just put the kids Swiss mix in here. I got some drink bombs, our margarita salt. I thought this was only marshmallow, so it's the mix with mar. Yeah, it's okay. a hot cocoa. So it's the margarita salt. I said that. Right. Are you did? Yes. <laughs> okay. We just put the extra pumps in here because we do have the other bottles underneath there, and I do want to put the pumps in them so we can use them. So I forget the price of those. Um, in this drawer, we just so originally it was gonna be like all my tea stuff over here, but we moved it over here. For now, and uh, this I got this off of Amazon, like I told you all. But in here, I have a bunch of my yogi teas, and then over here, I have some chamomile, some apple cider, and these are just some of our Keurig um, K cups. But there's like a ton more that I want to get, so we gotta we'll, find a better organizer. Yeah, so we'll most likely this is temporary. Move, we'll most likely like move that over here where we can put the rest of them in there because there's like so many more that we buy that aren't in here. The next one is just where we keep like our extra stuff. So we have some more of the uh, creamers. I have my big champagne and wine glasses down here. This is the rest of the um, syrups just to keep them down here. Uh, these are so cute, but these I got for the, um, like the Kira K cups doesn't come with marshmallows. So I found this at HEB, super cute. I'm gonna set these out for uh, Christmas when I do my hot cocoa bar. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen my bars in the past, especially when we had the bar cart and when I set it up in the area. Um, I have some more bar decor stuff back here. I'll show you guys later. Super cute stuff that I got from Target and then just our wine carrier bags. Oh, and then our electric wine opener. In the next cabinet, my favorite part, the tray that I showed you guys is actually in the way back. 
and it did allow me to open up more space so then we just have like just some different things like our tonic waters this is the um the flavoring the gourmet flavoring that i showed you guys um we have just like little shot uh bottles back there our bitters um just more extra stuff um we'll probably keep some things down here but uh there are some things that aren't over here that wouldn't fit uh, a keen smoke box i want to be able to keep down here just so we have easy access can pull it up here we have our frother um i prefer to keep this probably in the kitchen just because it's just easier to grab the milk put it inside the frother and do it in there and then bring the rest of the drinks over here but we do have the plugs if we wanted to bring it in here we do have some future projects in this area that we want to do so we'll just talk about that later or update you guys as we go we're still making a decision um but without that being said again like i talked about the wine uh, we probably keep the wine down here but we do want to bring the liquor up to its own space so there is something that i've been wanting to put in the um in the dining room and i finally got a came to agree with it so it is actually going to be a um you know what let me just show you all right you guys so we are actually here at crate and barrel in houston and this is the uh bar cabinet that i was telling you guys about so it has the wine holder at the bottom put the liquor bottles up here or more liquor bottles up here we could even bring out the um the whiskey glasses and different things like that so i've it's seen like them a, even where they they have a like uh the, the hold the glasses up there really mm -hmm. i've seen the pictures we'll show you the pictures so height reference i'm 411 so i don't know the exact height of this but 70 70 inches 70 inches? Yeah, and I'm 59, so do the math. But I like it. What? Because when I first showed it to you, you didn't like it. I will say it's not as dark as I thought it was. I thought it was like black, black. So I wonder if we could stain it darker. I think you can get different colors. No, I think it only comes with two colors. This color and then like the walnut oak color. All right, so let's go ahead and head back home real quick. All right, you guys, so as you can see, that is something that we are looking to add to our dining room table. I mean, our, our dining room area um, where we will keep our, like some of our favorite glasses and then obviously our liquor in there. And there's just easy access when we're entertaining in the formal dining room. So with that being said, you've made it to the end of the video. You want to get in here, babe? All right, so as usual, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think about the bar area. Um, if you have any questions or different things that we did out here that maybe we didn't mention, um, any suggestions, I guess if you, you know, feel like we should add something or move things good. around. Thank you. I don't even know what I'm wearing. You need to cut this video quick. Oh, I'm, I'm wearing a uh, Louis Vuitton. Okay. But anyway, anything? No. It <laughs> smells great though. All right. So thanks again for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.